Code to Enhance Learning presents the CEL video series on how to write problem statement for kids. Episode 2 Research Let's do a quick recap of the last session on planning. We initially discussed the purpose of understanding the problem and writing a problem statement. We learned the four steps in the video series to write the problem statement that is plan, research, synthesize and refine. Also, we ensured that the problem selected falls under UN sustainability goals if we are participating in CEL Kids Hackathon. We understood what we meant by problem statement. Then we identified the criteria or buckets to explore the problem statement. Lastly, we framed the broad questions related to the buckets that were identified. There is a famous proverb which says, He who asks a question remains a fool for a minute. He who doesn't ask remains a fool forever. In today's episode, we will do research and reach out to the sources and people who could give us answers to our questions. Finding answers to our questions will take us further ahead in solving our problems. We can take help of books, internet to do the research and find answers. To guide us, we can also ask questions and take suggestions from our parents, teachers, friends, etc. You see, Asking always helps. I am going to make a questionnaire that would help me collect data for the questions we discussed. A mix of two or three open-ended and close-ended questions would be good. By open-ended, I mean questions that don't have a fixed number of options as answers. Example, what are the causes of malaria? Please note that the options for answers are not mentioned in advance here. Whereas, questions like, are you facing the problem of malaria, will most likely have only two answers, that is yes or no. Hence, the question can be framed as follows. Open-ended questions are mostly used where you want people to tell the different options or answers. Closed-ended questions are used when you want people to choose among the given options. Open-ended questions take more time and are suitable for interviewing around 10 people. Whereas closed-ended questions take less time and can be used when the number of people are around 100 or more. Mixed questionnaire, which is a combination of both types of questions, can also be used based on the need. Here is the simple questionnaire for the questions we discussed. Depending upon the problem you are researching, you can add more details if you want. Using this questionnaire, I am going to interview different kinds of people like students, teachers, parents, shopkeepers in an around school and all those people who could most likely be affected by this problem. Always have a questionnaire while doing a survey. To collect a large number of responses, using Google form would be a good idea. You can talk to teachers, parents or just Google to learn how to use Google forms. Talking to people and understanding their personal experiences and stories is extremely informative and educational. When you do research, keep in mind to also try and understand the story behind the problems faced. We have a lot of work to do now, but trust me, it's going to be super fun. You will get a chance to talk to different kinds of people listen to their stories and make a report like a reporter. In case you are participating in CEL Kids Hackathon, you and your partner 
can share the responsibilities and collaborate. Before you watch the next video, it would be great if you go and collect the data so that the next two sessions will be very easy for you to understand. Let's do a quick recap of this episode. We identified that books, internet, people are all our sources who can help in the research process. We briefly discussed the format of open-ended and close-ended questions so that you can make a good questionnaire and extract quality information during the interview. We created a questionnaire which shall be used to interview people and record the answers. Also, try to understand the story behind the problems faced by the people. In the next episode, I will take you through the data I have collected and we shall do a synthesis of that data. So, stay tuned till then. Thank you.